Hi guys, this is Channel Fundy and in this video I'm going to show you how to fix boot tricks space slash fixed boot access denied in Windows 10. So let's see how to fix this. First off, you'll have to create a bootable USB uh, using Windows Media Creation Tool and uh, after creating a bootable USB, just plug into your computer and boot it up and then click on next and then click on repair your computer and then click on troubleshoot and click on command prompt as you can see when i'm trying to run fix boot command it shows access is denied so let's see how to fix this so type disk part and hit enter and now type LIS space disk and hit enter and it will show you the uh, disks connected to your computer so you will have to uh, select the correct disk in this case I have only one disk so I am going to select it by typing SEL space disk followed by the disk number which is 0 and hit enter and now type LIS space VOL and hit enter and uh, it is showing you the partitions present in that particular disk so all you need to do now is just select your system reserved or EFI partition you can identify the system reserved partition uh, using its volume label or you can uh, even identify it using the drive size it will uh, have a drive size of about 500 plus MB so in this case uh, the system reserved partition is volume 1 so uh, before proceeding make sure that you select the correct partition because if you choose the wrong one it may lead to data loss so please be careful type SEL space VOL space the volume number and hit enter and now type assign space letter is equal to M colon and hit enter and now type exit and hit enter and now type M followed by colon and hit enter and now type format space m colon space forward slash fs colon fat32 and hit enter and now it is asking us to enter the current volume label for uh, the system reserved uh, partition sometimes it will uh, it will not have any label so in that case you can just hit enter and proceed to the next step but in this case i have a volume label so i'm going to type it system reserved and hit enter and now type y and hit enter and now type y again and hit enter and now you'll have to uh, enter a new volume label i'm going to type recovery and hit enter and now you'll have to find out your c drive so you can do that by just typing the drive letter followed by a colon and hit enter and now type dir and hit enter as you can see uh, we have folders called program files windows users so this is our c drive so in this case i have only three drives but if you have multiple drives then you have to repeat this two or three times to find out your c drive and now type bcd boot space the drive letter of your c drive colon backward slash windows space forward slash s space m colon space forward slash f space all and hit enter as you can see it chose boot file successfully created and now type exit and hit enter and then click on turn off your pc your problem should be fixed right now but if it doesn't then uh, just follow method 2 This method is very much similar to the first one. Uh, in this uh, method also you will have to uh, create a bootable USB uh, using Windows Media Creation Tool and uh, plug into your PC and then boot it up. Click on next and then click on repair your computer and then click on troubleshoot and then click on command prompt. And now type boot set forward slash nt60 space all space forward slash force and hit enter. You should see something like this. And then type disk part and hit enter. 
and now type LIS space disk and hit enter and now select the disk by typing SEL space disk space followed by the disk number and hit enter and now type LIS space BOL and hit enter and now just like the first method you will have to uh, select the system reserved or EFI partition we already know that volume 1 is our EFI partition so I'm going to select it by typing SEL space VOL space volume number and hit enter and now type active and hit enter and now type assign space letter is equal to M colon and hit enter and now type exit and hit enter and then type M colon and hit enter now type the command which we used in the previous method which is bcd boot space your c drive letter followed by colon backward slash windows space forward slash s space m colon space forward slash f space all and hit enter and it shows boot files created successfully and now type in exit and then click on turn off your pc and turn it on once again your problem should be fixed right now but if it doesn't then move on to method 3 in this method first you will have to download windows 10 1703 built iso file this method won't work with any other iso file so first you will have to download it i'll leave a link for uh, that iso file in the description box below you can download it from there and after downloading you will have to create a bootable usb and then boot it up and then click on next click on repair your computer and then click on troubleshoot and then click on command prompt and now type disk part and hit enter and then type lis space disk and hit enter and then select the disk by typing sel space disk space disk number and hit enter and then type lis space vol and hit enter and you'll have to select the system reserved or efi partition so i already know which is my efi partition so I'm going to type SEL space VOL space the volume number and hit enter and then type active and hit enter and now type assign space letter is equal to M colon and hit enter and now type exit and hit enter and now type M colon and hit enter and now type MD space backward slash EFI backward slash microsoft backward slash boot and hit enter and now type cd space forward slash d space m colon backward slash efi backward slash microsoft backward slash boot backward slash and hit enter and now type boot rec space forward slash fix boot and hit enter and now you'll have to find out which is your C drive uh, in this case I already know which is my C drive so now type bcd boot space your C drive letter followed by a colon backward slash windows space forward slash l space en hyphen us space forward slash s space m colon space forward slash f space all and hit enter and now type exit and hit enter and now click on turn off the PC and turn it on once again and it should work so that's it guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe bye